Now that we've got our 383 back from the engine shop, Jeff's gonna come back and help us install it in the car. We're gonna change out the wheels and tires and throw in a few other details to make this car look like it rolled right out of the 60s, and then we'll be ready to hit the road. We tried hard to make this look like an early to mid 60s, you know, era specific engine, but these are all brand new parts. Finding a lot of these parts had for years become very difficult. So we, we managed to put together a really good era correct looking package with parts right off the shelf and out of the catalog. The 471 blower, when I look at that, I think of the 60s. You might ask why not a 671, you know, this fits a little bit better, this has a two inch Gilmer drive. And this doesn't have to be underdriven the way that a 671 would on the street. You can run these one to one, you can overdrive it. 671 builds a lot more heat, the rotors are longer, everything, there's more friction involved. This is just a lot more reliable package. Putting the bracket on to mount our power gen. So rather than put an alternator on here to make this look like a 60s hot rod, we're, we're gonna put a PowerMaster power gen, which looks like a generator, but it's actually an alternator. It does kind of look like an old GM generator, but it's got alternator one wire, alternator guts in it. When you run a hot rod like this without a hood, every detail kind of makes a difference. Cool. You ever used one of those MSD starters, Jeff? I haven't. It's what we've used on all the race cars, and we have really good luck with them. It looks like a pretty nice unit. Use the swiveling neck thermostat to give us a little more latitude when we're ready to do the upper radiator hose. It is funny to watch somebody try to turn one of those around under the car. But. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't back here at 6 o'clock this morning watching me do it. <laughs> this is the new GT Performance steering wheel that we're going to use in the 32. Fits the flavor of the car a whole lot better than the LaCara 40 Ford wheel did. This is a four spoke bell style, which is very similar to what was used in a lot of vintage race cars. It's got a rubber grip, chrome center. It's a nice looking wheel. I've got to get our adapter on here first. It takes a standard three bolt style adapter and horn setup. You know, there's nothing wrong with the 40 wheel. In fact, I think a 40 is my favorite hot rod steering wheel ever, but yeah. it's more of a 40s, early 50s kind of deal. But for the hot rod, dry lakes and drag strips look, you know, there's nothing like a bell four spoke. That's not going anywhere.
this expansion tank on it. We're actually going to be driving the thing. We don't want it yakking water all over everywhere. It's going to be a little tricky getting the nut on here. I'll get it. Okay. This is one of my superpowers. To finish this out, we're changing the wheels and tires. These are ET 15 by four fronts, and these are Coker American Classic radial tires that look like old bias plies. So, you know, we won't be going 700 miles wrestling with bias plies, but it's got the look. And then in the rear, we've got some torque thrusts, American torque thrusts with the same tires only in an 820 15. So we offer this stagger. This is basically the smallest you can get and the biggest you can get in the back. These are sevens on the rear and fours in the front. And it seems about right with the section yeah. of the tire. Yeah, it makes a really good section profile with that, that width of wheel and keeps that really true 60s flare to it. Should we put it down? Sure. That is killer. <laughs> Five pounds. You want to come up to six and a half or so? Yeah. Yeah, that's six. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> it lives. <laughs> <laughs>